Well, AI is changing the way we live and work, and our next guest is saying that one of the biggest opportunities is how it's transforming infrastructure. He had to talk about that and more. We want to bring Andrew Anagnast. He is the CEO of Autodesk. Andrew, it's great to have you. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Morning, I know you're joining Shana. us from the floor of auto, of the expo floor at Autodesk University. Let's talk about what's on tap for Autodesk because we have seen this revival here within your stock. Investors are excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. I'm curious how you see AI really very much revolutionizing the construction and the manufacturing industries. Yeah, so you're right, Sean. I'm here in San Diego at Autodesk University with about 10,000 of the world's architects, engineers, and creators. So it's really exciting and it's a high energy environment right now with all of these customers. One of the things that we're trying to do with AI is we're just trying to break through this capacity challenge that all of our customers have. There's not enough money, materials, or people to build and rebuild everything that needs to be built and rebuilt. You know, in the US alone, half the roads are in disrepair. Over the next 20 years, 250,000 bridges need to be repaired or replaced. So what our customers need is simple, practical productivity increases that help them wrangle data and actually get their job done faster. And that's some of the things we're focusing on here is we're rolling out features that actually help them do work that usually took weeks, do it in days, days to hours, and really just give them some of that capacity back so they can actually meet the infrastructure challenges of the country. What is the biggest challenge right now facing construction and manufacturing? Is it capacity? It is capacity, absolutely. You know, they, people still have str struggles hiring people. They still struggle to kind of get through the additional planning processes on budget and on time. It really is a fundamental capacity problem and it's also a communication challenge. Wrangling data, getting the right data to the right place at the right time to the right people is a critical workflow for our customers and they all struggle with it. This is one of these areas where AI can really help. Andrew, when it comes to the election, lots of questions about ultimately if, if Trump were to be reelected, how that shift in the White House, what that would mean for spending on infrastructure, how big of a shift that would be from the Biden administration. I'm curious from the customers that you're speaking with, how are they planning for that? Are they planning? Are, are they making changes for that potential uncertainty? You know, when it comes to infrastructure, Shauna, it's a bipartisan issue. Everybody wants to fix the U.S. infrastructure. Everyone wants more competitive infrastructure in the country. So no matter who's in power, our customers are basically saying, look, infrastructure is going to con continue to be a big focus and a big investment area. So it's not really a hot political issue. Uh, so look, look for the infrastructure projects to continue and the funding to continue to flow. Andrew, let's talk about your stock and the performance that we've seen uh, over the last several months. It has been an outperformer over the last six months. Morgan Stanley recently naming it uh, among the top picks there where they're seeing opportunity. I'm curious just where you stand, given the activist investor pressure that you have seen uh, most recently there, where those talks stand and your plans in order to maintain some of this recent momentum that you've been able to regain. Yeah, so first off, what you're seeing in, the, in terms of momentum is a result of two years of hard work. Uh, we were investing in kind of rebuilding the infrastructure of our business so that we could build multi-year multi contracts annually. You're seeing a free cash flow buildup associated with that transition being completed. We've also invested a year ago in changing the way we engage with our partners so that we can actually engage in one of the things that we really agree with the activist community on, which is improving our sales and marketing productivity. This is something that I think all of us can agree uh, across the board, all the investment community, and we listen to the investment community a lot, we need to improve our sales and marketing productivity, and we put the pieces in place to do that. That's why you're seeing the rally. This is actually the result of you know, a couple of years of really difficult work. Andrew, just about 30 seconds here, but now that we're seeing rates lowered here from the Fed, lower rates, the ultimate impact, how do you see that impacting future CapEx plans and, and, and future plans here, strategy for Autodesk? Look, better access to capital, cheaper capital is a tailwind to everything our customers do. There isn't a construction project, project out there that doesn't run on credit. So as, as these things move through the system, it absolutely creates a tailwind for a lot of our customers. Sounds like it's going to be a catalyst for Autodesk as well. Andrew Anignas, always great to have you here on Yahoo Finance. Thanks so much for taking the time. CEO of Autodesk. Wish you all Thank the best. Thank you.